Welcome to Back Issues. I'm Tiffany. I'm Sal. And I'm Ben. This is weird. It's a little weird. We're <laughs> doing a little switcheroo here. It was decided that I should be the one who did it because I'm also the only one who read it. That's true. <laughs> that helps. Um, I'm crazy nervous, guys. I got to tell you, I got my book here completely marked up. <laughs> For anyone who's worried, these are completely removable and they leave no residue. <laughs> I double checked before I put it in this book, okay? Yes. I also have my notes. Oh, oh, really? Like, you don't understand. Like, I am like, oh my God. Because I've done Saga, but not with him. No, I've never been on Not show with this guy. Posted. Today, we're going to be doing Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom Triumph and Torment. It's a book that a lot of people have mentioned and brought up. And after reading it, I get it. I get why all of a sudden people were really interested in us doing this. I'm going to punch the comic a couple more times. Um, and I think by the end, you will also. Yeah, I've heard of this book for years. Okay. And honestly, the like what's kept me from reading it every time, every decade that I avoid it, mm -hmm. is the art, which is hilarious because it's by... Uh, well, it's written by Roger Stern, and the art's by Mike Mignola, and I think it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous, and I only appreciate it now as an adult, but as a kid, I'm like, this is not for me. Interesting. And it was also taking two characters that, when I was a kid, I had zero interest in. Well... Dr. Doom, was, uh, I thought was cool, but he was a bad guy. And yeah. Dr. Strange, I don't give a crap about as a kid, so, you know, it was like, well, that's it. Well, see, for me, I think that this piece, even if it doesn't um, even stick with the continuity leading up to Secret Wars, I think this is a fantastic companion piece to Secret Wars. Because of this. Because the of the two characters who are involved in this. So this is pre-Secret Wars. Oh, this yeah. came out in, I believe, 1989. That makes sense. Which is so interesting because, because of the fact that it's Mignola's art, it could be any time. Yes. <laughs> the nature of the book itself with the crazy colors and all that stuff. It could literally be, it could, it could have come out in the 90s. It could have come out and like made it look retro recently. Yeah, for me, no. the, the coloring makes it, it does. sets it in a time. It definitely does. And then, um, honestly, this book is only that long. Oh, so half oh, of wow. it. And the rest of it is backups. And those backups date the hell out of this book. Oh. That's the worst. <laughs> Are they related to the story in any way? You know what? Kind of. Really? Two, okay. Two of them are. Oh. Two of them kind of. There's like, four backups? There are four backups. Is there more backup than story? No. No. Feels like it. It's almost, it's almost okay. half. Yeah. It's almost half, but it's not quite. The backups oh, yeah. in the back, there's a Doctor Doom story, oh. there's a Doctor Strange story, and there's two Namor stories. Okay. That's... Is Namor in this book? All right. No. Ow. No? <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> God damn it. I mean, no, they're good. But to be but... fair, How does to, that work? well, Namor and Doctor Doom did work together for a while because yes. Doctor Doom thought that because Namor didn't like the Fantastic Four that they would make a good alliance against them. Yeah. That is such a strange well, decision. Well, trust me, we'll go I'll I'll tell you about the backups in this book at the end of this. I did and okay. I, I did end up like reading them. <laughs> I remember you were talking about how you were like I don't think I'm going to read them. I don't think I'm going to read them and then I was like, yeah, I'll read them anyway. Not strange Doctor Doom Triumph and Torment begins as any good story begins in a cave with an old, bald, half-naked guy meditating. I mean, I think we've all heard that story before, right? Oh, yeah. naturally. Um, and he is joined by a monk who is trying desperately to get him to eat something. But this okay. guy is heavy into his meditation. Oh, I thought he's heavy, so he's working off his winter food. Yeah, like he does. <laughs> that um, is incredibly naked. And this, well, mostly. and this gentleman is Genghis. At least that's what he's called now. Okay. The fact is, his his name has been lost to time. Oh. Like he okay. he be old. Like real old. Real old. Is right? this taking place in the present day? Yeah. Okay. This guy's like, you gotta eat, and he's just like, what does it matter? What is food? Like whatever. Ugh. He's like, the food of the mind, knowledge. That's what I want. And he's like, yeah, but I mean, you're gonna die, and like, right, I, but you'll I'm die, gonna though. be in a lot of trouble ah. if you die. So. So get it together, gang. Come on. And they get on the topic of Doom and what Doom is. And Genghis is like, Doom is a man. Like Doom itself or Doom the guy? Doom the guy. Like, they're he's like, not, oh, they're not he... talking about that. But then he's like, no, Doom is a man. And he's like, you know of Doom? <laughs> and Genghis is like, I know of Doom. <laughs> the things I can tell you about Doom. <laughs> <laughs> and he can. Because years ago, Genghis was meditating in either the same cave or a different cave. Uh -huh. Well, they kind of look the same. And, yeah. and a as man as in... Like winter wear, because like they're in Tibet or somewhere like that, some mountain somewhere. This man shows up, and it's Victor Von Doom. Right. And he is with a face, right? Or is he still like masky? No, no mask. And he's come there because he wants to continue his studies of sorcery. Yeah. 
Okay. And Genghis kind of, and he's just like, and Doom gets up in his face. Because, I mean, Genghis is a frail little man, and Doom's a big guy. Doom's an opposing person. Yeah. And, like, he's, like, he's, like, throttling this old bald man. Yeah. And he's like, you take me for some novice? I'm a master of, like, science, and I and I know sorcery, but I need to get better. Yes. Now, And I, then Doom I, reveals his face. And I gotta tell you, it doesn't look that bad. And, oh, his scarring? Yeah, and Genghis is like, you have, like, a minor injury. And he's like, minor? And then he really just throttles the hell out of this guy mm -hmm. and threatens his life. And Genghis is like, okay, what <laughs> you seek is not me. Mm -hmm. You need to go find this order in Tibet. They can help you out. So this is after the accident? Yeah, this is after the now, accident. okay, Roger Stern wrote this back in the day. Uh-huh. Like, when Kirby designed or came up with the idea for Doom. Trust me, we go into what happens to Doom, mm -hmm. and I can assure you how they describe it is clearly not what is reflected in this art. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was like... Right. So, when I think when Genghis says that he's a minor injury, I think he's is saying it in terms of the length of his life, because Genghis is questionably old, like, hundreds and hundreds of right. years old. So, right. he's just like, what is... What have, or like, maybe he's not even talking about his physical injuries. Maybe he's saying, you're, you're not quite evil yet. I, You're just a little touched in the head. Here, here's the thing. Genghis clearly kind of knows what's up. And, like, he openly admits throughout this book that he had a role to play in the creation of Doom. Oh. Because he did. Like, he makes Doom in oh, this. because he sends him to Tibet wow. to he learn sorcery. He sends him to Tibet, right? And, like, Doom just leaves him there. And he's, like, dying on the floor. And Stephen Strange shows up. In the cave? Well, yeah. But he's Doctor Strange at that point. He's leaving the Ancient One. And the Ancient One's like, hey... If you're passing by Genghis's cave, make sure he's eating. You should stop by and say hi. Yeah. So he sure hasn't been throttled too much lately. <laughs> it happens to him a lot. So he shows up and he ends up nursing Genghis back to health. Okay. And he doesn't mention anything about Doom. Okay. But he does say that, like, he's like, he's talking to Strange. He's like, a meeting is at hand. Uh -huh. In the years to come, you will meet him. Like, okay. meet someone. And you're like, and Strange's like, yeah, I'm on the path of becoming Sorcerer Supreme. I'm going to meet a lot of people. Right, yeah. So. Doom goes to the Order. Okay. And when he gets there, he's like half dead, and they nurse him back to health, and he learns everything they have to learn, or to teach him. And by the time he's done, he's in charge. Yes. Oh, he run, he's running the He's the order. running the place, and they Damn. call him Master, and they make his armor there. Yes. In this book, his armor is made in Tibet. That's it's cool. It's mystical armor. They make the mask, and like, it's being pulled out of the oil, or whatever, right? And they're like... One of the guys is like, oh, we gotta go, we gotta, we gotta give this to him. He's like, it's hot. And he's like, our master has no time to wait for this kind of thing. That type of pain means nothing to him. And they put it on him. Oh, so his scar. And I'm wondering, the mask? maybe I don't know, or okay. it just doesn't matter. Because that I'm would like, be super cool, if it right? Did. And I just love this like bitching. He's on the mountain, like, and he's just like, now it's time. I'm doomed, and let's do this. Not only that, but I'm in Tibet and it's freezing. Right. Like this hot mask is gonna feel really good when I'm outside. <laughs> It's gonna cool down. Yeah. You know, it's... Bring me my hot cod piece as well. <laughs> ah! Before Doom is freezing his balls off. So then, we go back to the cave. Okay. And... Jesus, with this this entire book is in a cave, it's isn't it? It's all in the cave. Hang on, this, ca this, this story's gonna go like... But it's all connected. Can... Ooh. We go back to the cave, and Genghis is talking with this monk who's still got the stupid bowl of right, soup he's like, or Eat rice this. or whatever. And all of a sudden, Genghis is making a lot more sense. And the monk's like, usually you're kind of, he's like, incoherent. You're more, you're more cryptic? Yeah. yeah. I was like, going to say incoherent. I was going to say senile, but, you know, whatever. No, well, he Just says that, Genghis is like, all the knowledge I have and my quest for knowledge, I don't have time really to converse, essentially. Like, okay. he doesn't have time for this kind of normal, everyday kind of stuff, right? All right. But there are certain times, every, I think, hundred years, that the stars align. And he kind of gets his faculties and his powers back. And this guy gets up and he starts walking around. And the monk's like, I didn't even know you could walk still. What's up? Yeah. And then Genghis does this like lotus type position. And like there's light and he just blasts off. And the monk's like, you're rice. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's eating well. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever he is, I don't want to be in trouble. And Genghis goes off to a temple. And when he's there, he puts out a call. And the call can only be heard by those who are sufficiently trained in the mystic arts. Right. So okay. naturally, the only two people who hear it are Doom and Strange. No, there's a whole bunch of people who show up. Oh. And they all have to go to this temple. Is, are any of them interesting characters? Like like Scarlet Witch and stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I made a list. Oh. I made a list of, of mystic the, characters of the that mystic heed characters. the call of, the, of yeah, Genghis? Yeah, um, people like uh, Tareva, or Tar Tareva. 
Okay. She's an Atlantean. Oh, yeah. Screamer. I don't know Screamer. She's from the UK. Okay. And why... She started the punk rock. And Wai Chi Yi. Mm-hmm. And Khalid Inshallah. This is his first appearance. Yeah. And Jules St. Thomas. It was also his first appearance. Mm -hmm. And Manuel Diego was his first and only appearance in this book. <laughs> I looked that name up. It did come up as something else. I don't know if they then just co-opted that name them. into something else. So, okay. Yeah, a bunch of characters show up. A bunch of characters um, they made up for the story show right, up. Right, but like, I gotta, so I gotta say, Doctor Strange gets this call. He's, <laughs> he's sleeping, and then he wakes up, and he's levitating. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, I haven't like levitated in my sleep since I was like a young sorcerer. And I was like... Is that, is that like having a wet dream? I don't yeah. know. It's like, <laughs> That's definitely what that means. He wakes up, he's like, ooh, it's been a while. So then Strange... What's his, what's his butler's name? Kang? Wong. Wong. Wong, Wong don't come in. <laughs> <laughs> so then Strange decides he has to go to where the where the, the voice, the voice oh, shows him to go, essentially. Oh. But it doesn't just go by magic. He's got to teleport. No, he takes a plane. Because <laughs> he's like, I don't want to... I don't want to mess up here. I don't really know what this is. It's kind of foreboding. So I should probably take a plane. What? I'm but like, all right. But I'll take first class. So he yeah. travels. So he just travels there. And when he gets there, he comes to the Temple of Three. Okay. And he, so before he goes in, he changes into his, his mystic robes because yes. he was traveling. He's like, I can't just show up like this. That's too I'm bad. Doctor Strange. I'm surprised, uh, surprised he didn't travel on the plane like Doctor yeah, Strange. Yeah, in his cloak no, of levitation no, and everything. He wears, like a, he wears like, a, like an explorer's outfit. <laughs> what? Yeah, he really, he I looks... saw that, but I didn't think that was strange. I thought that was some weird, like, Crocodile Dundee Indiana Jones kind of guy. Yeah. Also, Strange sleeps in the buff, apparently. Oh, yeah. Ching. And he is jacked. Yeah, he is. Yeah, the that's... Explorer's costume I like... like this book. <laughs> he looks like Romancing the Stone. <laughs> <laughs> he goes in, all those mystical guys I mentioned, plus a few others, so I don't know. Are like, oh, Doctor Strange is here? No, we're they're gonna go like, shadow. a lot of people are like, oh, it's Strange. Oh, it's Strange. Oh, oh it's strange. I hear that he might be the source for Supreme. Oh, I've heard that too. Oh, what does that matter? Well, like, everybody's, like, lot. going back and forth, and some people are like, hey, it's really nice to meet you. Like, they're networking with <laughs> Doctor Strange. They're all exchanging mystical business cards. <laughs> all right? Yeah. And then Genghis shows up, and he's like, ta -da! Did he blast in? No, like, he's just, he was just there. Okay. He's just kind of like, like it's almost like no he one was... noticed he was there, and he's like, hey. And I am here! He was behind a plant, he just yeah. walks out from he's it. He's like, hey, I haven't eaten. Um, <laughs> so... They're like, what's going on? He's like, we can't start yet. We're waiting for someone else. Oh. And then this plane thing lands outside and doom Latverian Air. <laughs> it's a little tiny plane. Uh -huh. I figured Latverian Air would be a blimp. And <laughs> like everybody's like, like ah! it's doom. What is he doing here? What right does he have to be here? And, <laughs> and one go-getter sorcerer is like, Morty Fleischman, how are you doing, Dr. Doom? It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Genghis is now ready to reveal why they're all there. Because they're all kind of annoyed, and Doom's there. And Doom's there, so they're all so scared. Not really scared. They're like, mm. well, they're I would be scared. Off. No, I, ma I imagine that they're really upset because, like, Doom is not a good guy. Right. Well, it doesn't matter well, if and he's also he's probably or not. Like, this guy's here. It's just in a fuck show. Well, also, like, what is it? Like, what are we doing here? Yeah. If Doom's here, like, why isn't, like, Electro here? Well, <laughs> what are we doing here yeah. is we are determining who's going to be the Sorcerer Supreme. <gasps> this is the book where we determine Sorcerer Supreme? And. And Doom is a contender. Oh, Doom's always been a contender. But no, they've always, like Doom's been always been has, jockeying for that. He knows sorcery. He yeah. knows it. He's got it. Yeah. So does, the does guy at the magic shop knows a little bit of sorcery. <laughs> Morty Look, Fleischman knows sorcery. <laughs> Genghis is Genghis is called out to those who had sufficient skill, right. not oh. who were good of heart. Did we right. talk? Do you know why he learned sorcery? Do uh huh. You know that do they? Do you want? Yes, to okay. we're gonna get to that. All right. At that point, there's like this huge light show. And all of a sudden you see this chick, a bald guy, and a tiger. Okay. <laughs> Temple of Three. Yeah. Yeah, and the Temple of Three are the Vishanti. Oh. The Vishanti are made up of three. They're Ashtor, Hagath, and Agamotto. So Ashtar is the chick. Um, Hagath is the, the tiger. tiger. He also will often come as, a, as a lion. Um, he's known as the Hori host of Hoggeth, yeah. um, meaning that he's great. And, or he, yeah, and he, Hori, not with a, a W. Right, and he's also like Lord of Hosts. Oh. So that's why he's invoked as that. Yeah. Okay. And then there's Agamotto, who is said to have been possibly the first Sorcerer Supreme. Yes. He lives in a pocket universe, or he did, and he would like search out the multiverse. He, like, he would watch things in the multiverse well, through cool. in his pocket. I was really hoping Agamotto would be the tiger. Right? I, I thought I, so too, but then the eye isn't right. If the yeah. eye was a cat's eye, it would make more sense. They did a, uh, they did a story in New Avengers Volume 2 that Bendis wrote in which 
basically, Agamotto wants his eye back. Yeah. And so, yeah. And when they show him, you're like, oh, there he is. Yeah. So, and it's through the eye of Agamotto or the orb of Agamotto, you can, like, enter his realm. Yes. And, like, chill out there. Yeah. Right? I imagine he's got, like, some throw cushions. I think it's nothingness. No, well, it depends. When, <laughs> when Strange goes there, he perceives it as being, like, an Alice in Wonderlandian thing. Like and, in, and in fact, like, yeah, like, one time, like, when he goes there, Agamotto decides to, like, mess with him a little bit, so he makes himself look like the caterpillar. Oh, God. And they, like, have, like, a battle of wits, and, like, Strange defeats him by, like, threatening to break his hookah or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Agamotto's like, not my hookah. Don't It'll reek don't, in here. Don't I, harsh my dude. buzz. So then that Khalid guy that I mentioned before is yeah. like really like, Doom should not be here for this. Like he's yelling at the Fashanti that Doom has no right to be here. Don't yell at the Fashanti. And Doom's like, Do, would you like me to relinquish my gauntlets? Like oh, Doom is all gauntlets. in. Yeah. He's like, it's cool. I don't want to be so So, so he does. <gasps> he throws him on the ground. He's like, bring it. Which is also cool because he's laying down the gauntlet. Right? Yeah. He's issuing a challenge. Right. I, I'm assuming he wouldn't, he would just like pick one up and throw it in someone's face. Right? I would assume he'd Bugs Bunny it, smack them across the face with it, and challenge them to a duel. Exactly. And then someone would take out a glove and fill it with <laughs> an <laughs> anvil. Horseshoes. <laughs> no, no, they'd fill it with an anvil, smack them, and then pour out the horseshoes. Right. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> then the challenge begins. Essentially, the... Oh, they're gonna freaking fight or something? This, this, is, like, Vishanti... this is like mystical gladiators, right? Kind now. of. The Vishanti are gonna issue a challenge. So Genghis is there, like, beneath these, like... Heads. These heads, these lit-up heads. And there's, like, this light, and all of a sudden, the Vishanti and Genghis turn into this huge green crystal thing. Wait, Genghis is not part of the Oh, no, he's challenge? in it. He's in the crystal. And that's the challenge. <laughs> He's not, no, he's not jockeying to become Sorcerer Supreme. No. I assume he's, like, above Sorcerer Supreme. I, no, okay. what it is is Genghis made a deal with the Vashanti for knowledge. And the deal was every hundred years he would seek the call out for the next He Sorcerer would Supreme. host a wizard's convention. Like, I'm like, yeah. that's a sweet deal. Yeah, that sounds like, awesome. Did, like, he literally has done nothing. Yeah. Like, he went on a little trip. He got to see a bunch of idiots yelling got, at each other. He got beaten up by Doom. Well, that was earlier on in yeah, life. That saying. had nothing to do with this. No, but it's part of the, <laughs> part of the deal. So yeah, but like he gets his own manservant to offer him a bowl of rice every couple of days. I know, well, he doesn't right? eat pretty it. sweet. Well, yeah, but that's part it's of the, the idea, Sal. I see. It's the heart I mean, behind it. I'm sure he wants to eat it. He just likes giving that guy a hard time. Uh, he eats well, it when he leaves. Well, not only that, but like, you don't want to eat in that cave. Where are you going to go to the bathroom? You go in the corner. Your cave's going to stink. He carry. He catches it. You go over the cliffside outside the cave, and then he throws it away. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, he has another servant for that. <laughs> so they're all like. That remember that um, Jewel St. Thomas guy I mentioned? Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. how could I forget? Wait, the, guy? I thought that was a girl. It's a guy. He's, he's a voodoo guy. Okay. He's just like, clearly I know what to do. Let's blast this thing. And, and Dr. Drew's like, oh my god. So he does that and it just rebuffs and like the guy's entranced. Like he's just green. He's not moving. Okay. Strange is like, okay. That's him trying to shatter the, the crystal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then all the other guys, except for Doom, Strange, Screamer, Screamer, yeah, Screamer, yeah, Screamer, yeah, Screamer. Um, the, the the English and a couple of other, I guess, like one or two other people will maybe don't do what everyone else does, which is all Blast attack it. at the same time. Uh huh. Oh well, clearly we just all have to do. Yeah. It. Yeah. And Strange is like, <laughs> yeah, and they all become entranced. Oh. And Strange is like, okay, that was easy. Now, when they become entranced, though, they all turn on everybody else. Oh no! So you gotta fight them. So now they're battling. And like, like the screamer chick is like, like trying to like stick with Doctor Strange, and she's like, how, "What are you doing?" And she's like trying to do what he's doing. How do you do yours? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really cute. He's like, "Use this," and she tries to do that, and Aww. she tries to call him the Vashanti. He's like, "Don't do that," and she gets tranced. This is a movie. And then, right? This is the Doctor Strange movie. And then Doctor Strange sees Doctor Doom, and Doctor Doom's holding his own. Mm -hmm. And they both well, have this yeah. moment where they're checking each other out, or where they're seeing and they're, they're sizing like, each other up. They're like, "Wow, that's but awesome." Yeah. That guy's cool. Right? That guy's cool. Yeah. We should do lunch. So then, like, at one point, Strange is like, like, Doom, let me, like, you know, get rid of these two I have to defeat, and then I'll come help you. And Doom's like, I need no help! Yup. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... Doom just picks up his gauntlets, right? No! Ha -ha! He doesn't. He uses magic. Yeah. Ooh. But he recognizes that, like, where his magic fails, he's science backing it up a little bit. Yes. Um, Strange is more agile, and, like, he's studying him. He's studying all of them. Right. And, like, so he's picking up spells as he goes by using the science and, like, the tech in his mask. Right. He's, like, learning things as he goes. He's, like, recording what they say. He kind of is, and, like, their hand motions, but he notices that Strange is just that much quicker. Yeah. So, 
they have this moment where they're just kind of standing there and like like Strange is like I'm impressed and Doom's like but for everyone I took down you took two. Oh, so now he's annoyed right and then Doom's like Wah! and like he attacks Strange oh, no. and Strange is like well yeah because he's the he's gonna be the Sorcerer Supreme right yeah. so then he you know so he, they fight he uses the Crimson Bands and like he oh, he, he just no he just takes oh, Doom Cider out oh wow like it's just yes. bam he there just takes him down and Strange is like well now I'm alone Oh, because Screamer got taken out? Everybody's taken out. He, he had to dispatch everybody. Everybody's unconscious. And he's like, all right. Well, I guess I win. What do I get? But he has to he has to deal with the crystal. Oh, he's got to open the crystal, right? Well, so, I mean, do you really have to deal with the crystal? <laughs> There's nobody else left. <laughs> just, just leave him in the crystal, and then you're like, I'm Sorcerer Supreme. Who's going to challenge me? Yeah. But to be fair, his magic, he calls upon things like the horror host of Haga that he uses Agamotto, like Ag- Agamotto's eye. He already has Agamotto's eye? Yeah. Yeah. He has it. Part Which I of thought it, was a gift pa- bestowed on. on the Sorcerer Supreme. Part of Supreme. it is, is that like there's like two different Sorcerer Supremes. One is the Sorcerer Supreme, the title he inherited from the Ancient One. And yes. the other is the Sorcerer Supreme of the Universe. Oh, okay. Which I is not like a promotion. They don't talk about that in this book. That's just something you kind of have to know. You okay. gotta, you gotta infer I that feel shit. it would always be awkward when you meet Agamotto and you're like, Hi, I have your eye I have one of your neck. eyes. That's kind of creepy. Sorry. So, Strange realizes that he he's like, let me astral project. And he astral projects, and he oh. goes up to the crystal, and he's kind of like, he's like, he's kind of looking into it, and he's like, wait, really? <laughs> and he just... And they're having to. He just asks Genghis to come out. Right, will you come out of the crystal? And like, he, they're like, it's over! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is like, brought back, they're all normal, they're all awake, they're all fine. Yeah. None of them know how much time has passed. They're like, it feels like, it felt like days, it felt like minutes, it's like, who knows, right? Yeah, it's been and Doom's minutes, just kind of like... <laughs> He was like, I wish I was a nice person who knew how to talk to people. <laughs> and the Vishanti is I mean, like... he could have done that. I mean, you're bound by the bands of Ciderac, but... Or the Crimson Bands of Ciderac. No, he's fine, too. Like, he's all... But, like, wouldn't you be able to still astral project at that point? No, like, he... Well, I don't think he knows how to do yeah, that. Yeah, Doom doesn't know how to project. Oh, so, the, oh, the, the Vishanti's like, that was it. Like, you just had to be kind of compassionate <clears> and, like, be chill and, like, calm and cool and collected. Yeah. And that's what makes a good Sorcerer Supreme. You're the Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor. That was it? And Doctor Strange is <laughs> like... I, well, I don't know if, like, you know, who cares about a title? And, like, all of, like, his friends are like, you know, oh, you're, like, a, sorcerer, congratulations. you're a sorcerer supreme. He's like, yeah. And they're like, just take it. Like, the Vashandi's like, yeah, the shut the like, hell hey! up. Take the damn compliment, Strange. Yeah, Jesus. So. No, yeah. I, I have to prove that I'm humble. And, yeah. Oh, no. We'll cut the title in half. <laughs> and shit. Oh, wait, that doesn't know. So. You can be sorcerer <laughs> and I'll be supreme. Never. <laughs> Doom is always supreme. And, like, Doctor Strange is, like, talking to me. He's like, he's like, Doctor Strange, you know, there's a boon involved. And, like, Strange is like, I don't, I don't need anything else. Yeah. And he's like, oh, no, no, you don't, you don't understand. You have to bestow a boon upon the other who made it through. Oh. Who's Doom. Right. Doom technically made it through. That's so he's got to help cool. Doom out with something? Yeah, and it's Doom's choice. Oh, I know what this is. And Doom. Richard! No. And. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and Strange is like. I'm not going to help this madman conquer the world. I'm right. not going to do that. And Doom is like, that's, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want you to help me go to hell and save my mother's soul. And Strange is like, what? what? Your mom? Yeah. And he's like, what? where did you expect her to go? And, <laughs> and Doom's like, oh, oh, is a, is a woman's soul like so beneath you? Right. Strange? And he's like, no, Jesus, Doom. <laughs> Take it down a notch. So then Genghis is like, it's over! <laughs> and, and he poofs away and the temple starts to collapse. Oh my God. And they're all like, ah! That's where amazing. do we go? And they all run out. <laughs> <laughs> and like, all awesome. the other magic people kind of disperse and Strange and Doom are like, that was kind of a weird yeah. end to that. Well, that was weird. So then they get into Doom's plane. Right. Which is kind of just for one. So Strange is <laughs> kind of standing there behind yeah, him. With the chickens. And like, He's like, this is, this is pretty cool. It's a nice plane. Does Strange and change back into his no, ridiculous he's still wearing, outfit? No, he's still wearing his little, like, his, you know, cloak of levitation and all that. He's, okay. he's Dr. Strange. And, like... He's not going to be showing up on Doom Air. No, no. exactly. And, like, and, <laughs> and Doom's like, yeah, it is a nice plane. Thanks, yeah. Yeah, especially I don't, my chair. I don't, I don't normally uh, fly myself. with an ally, I have to be honest with you. Yeah. So, you know. I don't normally have, you know, company. So they'll arrive in Latveria, and there's, like, it's a parade... <laughs> And there's like it's all like the fucking come out. They're like, hooray for Dr. Doom winning the contest! <laughs> yeah, there's a banner and everything. No, no. <laughs> it's... One of two things. Either, either 
uh, they all pretend that he won, right? And they're like, he actually won a bigger prize than Sorcerer Supreme. Su Sorcerer Super Duper Supreme, and it's even better than ever, and it, it requires no change whatsoever. Or... Wait, it's K-9, we're about to hit the 90s. He's gonna be Sorcerer Extreme! Yeah. <laughs> or he's... He, he gets there and they're like, Bam! And he's like, take it all down! No, it's literally, it's <laughs> just a welcome home parade. Okay. Like, Doom does this that. is what happens when... <laughs> Doom leaves and returns. Like, yep, when he goes to fight the time. Fantastic Four like... and he comes back, they have to throw a fucking parade for this asshole. And Strange is like, I know it's fake, but there's some degree of, it's like, cool. sincereness to these people. Yeah. Well, like... because they... Bel well, it, it's, it's not like North Korea where they all are like, this asshole is in charge, and, like, we've been undoctrined to believe that he's, like, godlike. Yeah. With these... Doom literally can conjure fucking right. magic and shoots lasers from his hands. Like, Kim Jong-un, you know, says that he, <laughs> he, like, golfed a perfect game the first time he ever tried. That, like, Doom literally can, like, melt you with his fucking laser powers. Right. There's yeah. a little bit of, like, admiration yeah, and there's fear legit there. Legit fear slash admiration right. for a... Pa for He's legitimately a supervillain. Like, that's kind of cool. So much so that there's this little girl, like, this little blonde, chubby-cheeked little girl in her little pink dress, and she... Cindy Lou Who shows up. She has up. these flowers, and she's like... <laughs> and and she... Doom's like, Flash! <laughs> No! And her mother's like, he chose my girl! He killed my daughter of all no, the children in my No, she said, well, they're in, like, they're in a car and they're driving away from the parade. They're in a she, motorcade? She, no, it's just, like, they're in, like, this, like, rolls royce type car. And, like, she's, like, under the bridge away from everybody else. Oh. And they stop, Doom stops the car. Mm -hmm. So this girl can give him the flowers. Oh. And she's just like, we're so glad you're back. And, like, and what he says is, the thanks are mine, child. Oh. And they leave, and Strange is like... What the, the hell is happening? That? He's like, what? <laughs> what? I'm nice to my people. I'm just this not is nice. my country. Yeah. <laughs> I love led, my people. If you were Latverian, then we would have a very different conversation. <laughs> so they get back. They get to Doom's <laughs> castle. castle. Doomstad. His manservant Boris is there, and he's like, Boris, take care of Doc Strange. I got, I got shit to do. Yeah. And Boris is also bald. <laughs> no. In a monk. Straight, no, he looks like, like I too have a man. He's all he's got white hair and a white beard and all that. Yeah. And um, what he does is he like gets um, Cynthia Von Doom's notes. Okay. It's Cynthia Von Doom is his mother. Well, it's certainly not his wife. Um, she she was a gypsy and yep. a witch. And she de didn't necessarily like the way her people were being treated. Um, <laughs> Which one? The gypsy people or the witch people? <laughs> Either one, really. She's a gypsy and a witch, not... Because <laughs> they've both been kind of mistreated. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The gypsies. His father is Werner Von Doom. Yep. And he was a healer, a gypsy healer. Not okay. with, like, magic, like, no, like, like a doctor. He, like a gypsy a doctor. doctor. Yeah. And well, yeah, a doctor, but, like, you know, I... I chewed up some leaves and I spread and I, them on a wound. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I looked up because like they mentioned a lot like who was in charge of Latveria like when Doom was young and even before he was born. Mm -hmm. No, no, not when he was before he was born. Like when he was a baby yeah. and a young child. Mm -hmm. And I I found the, the old ruler of Latveria and his name is ridiculous. And I don't know if that's <laughs> the guy they're referencing because they don't say it, but it's King Vladimir Va Velassi Ganario Tristan Mag... Mangagegi Fortuno, Baron of Sabbat, Baron of Hassan, Baron of Crozy. The fact that he took Doctor Doom, it's fair. I think we should all just get over it. Yeah, Victor Von Doom is much less ridiculous than that <laughs> display. So, what Strange if he? Is... What if he does have a ridiculously long title like yeah, he's that? Just like, no, he's just like, I. You don't understand. Every time I come into a room, I would have to wait five minutes before they finished greeting me. Doom has no time for this. Yeah. I can't. Doom. It is Doom now. Yes. Doom. <laughs> so, the book that he's going over are her notes on magic. And, like, Strange is like, man, your mom was like, she knew her stuff. Yeah. And he's like, of course she did! She was my mom! Yeah. She would have been the Sorcerer Supreme! Yeah. So, essentially, what they've come to do is, Strange is going to take him... To hell. To hell. To essentially hell... And, and leave him there. But in order to do that, he has to train idea. Doom yes. in stronger like sorcery. And Strange is like, I don't want to do that because what is he going to do with this afterwards? But Probably I, blast but the I, I the made again. this bond. Like I said, I would do right. this, and like that My was first part of this whole Sorcerer thing. And, yeah. and they blow up the temple, and uh, all right, yeah. I got to do this. I mean, what's really holding him to this boon? I think the tiger man in, in the sky. <laughs> yeah, but like, what's the timeline on this? Is it like, 
you know, do it within a year. Do it well, within a hang month. on, we'll, we'll get to that. There is, oh, there's there, a, there's there is, there is a time. There's a time around this essentially, and, okay. and I'll explain why. So Boris takes it to bed, and as they're going there, Boris explains the whole backstory of Doctor Doom. Oh, cool. Like the wow. man side of it all. So like Doctor Strange, along with us, gets this look at Doctor Doom where you're like, oh, that we've never seen, right? Yeah. So, Doom, like Doom is a ruler. Right. Well, no, 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 no Doom. No. How Doom, Doom became. Yeah, how Doom got to where Doom was. How oh. Doom got to that first story we learned about him in the mountain. Right. Okay. That's what Boris fills us in on. Gotcha. All right. So Doom's mom, Cynthia, was a witch and a gypsy. Didn't like the way her people were being treated. She, either on purpose or by accident, conjured Mephisto. Mm. Mephisto that's, is... That's, um... That's something you probably have to do on purpose, I would think. No, because Mephisto was listening. Because Mephisto digs that kind of well, stuff. Well, he's a trickster. He is. And for those who don't know, Marvel says that he's he rules a fiery nether realm referred to as Hell or Hades, but it's not actually either of them. Right. Mephisto really loves impersonating Satan, which is why you're never certain if if they're writing it as he is the devil. Or he's just pretending to be Or he's just like, <laughs> you idiot humans yeah. and your Catholicism. Yeah. We have all seen him if not in the mcu we have seen him throughout the marvel universe he touches all the corners of it, including ghost rider fantastic four x-men thor avengers spider-man and tons of other characters oh yeah mephisto has been there done that and he loves getting his hand into everything yeah so i legitimately think she could have conjured him on purpose or he could have been like she could have been doing something else and he's like and he's like and me oh hello yeah i know what you want you want the power to help your people She's like, but not at the cost you're willing to give to me. She knows. She's like, you're there for a bargain. Well, you're literally the, you look like the devil. Exactly. No, but she pretty much, she gets it. She knows who Mephisto is. She understands it. Right. But then he starts saying things like, but don't you want a homeland for your people? Oh. And she's like, mm. Well, then we wouldn't be gypsies. <laughs> right. Because then she starts thinking about like her son and the rest of the family and she accepts. By the way, All she's right. naked the whole time. Naturally. Because that's how you conjure. And then, like, he's like, all right, you're mine! And he gives her a kiss. And then he disappears. And she, like, immediately is like, oh. And then she goes into Latveria, into, like, the town. And, and everyone's like, where? Put on your clothes! No, she has and we're like... <laughs> she's got her dress back on. Um, but, like, there's, like, an a, like an other earthly or an outer earthly voice coming out of her. Mm -hmm. And um, someone attacks her, and she, like, lets loose this spell. But, like... It's like she hits one guy, but then, like, she, like, hits all these people. And then, like, she all of a sudden, like, comes to her faculties and, like, tries to get out of there. Yeah. Right. And she realizes that she can hear the screaming coming from the spell that she released mm -hmm. because she didn't have the control. He gave her power, but no control. Right. And wow. she can hear, like, the babies dying. And it's real bad. So it's bad. scorched earth. She, like, she killed the countryside. Well, no. Right. She just killed all the people in the town. Right. The town's fine. Yeah. And then this guard shows up and stabs her. Oh. And she, like, makes it out of the town and, like, her husband finds her. He only stabs woods. her once and then he's like, there you go. <laughs> and he leaves. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think he dies. Um, I would hope so. And yeah. then she, like, she makes it out into the woods and her husband finds her and, and she's like, don't let our son get into what I did. Keep right. Keep him away from the evil. And he's like, okay. Okay. We know how that turned out. She dies and he tries to take her magical trunk of shit. Mm -hmm. And, like, destroy it. He tries burning it. It doesn't work. He tries throwing it at a river. It shows back up. Like, he yeah. can't get rid of the shit. It's so like he... a possessed doll. Yeah. <laughs> so he just hides it amongst all their crap. Right. Because he's like, well, if I act like it's not a big deal, yeah, then it won't fair. be. So... Just, just toss a couple things in there that are boring. You know, like a linen blanket. Yeah. Um, a scrapbook of relatives you don't really see anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Just any of that stuff. Fill the trunk with boring stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then the kid will start going through and be like... This oh, sucks. This, don't go near that trunk. That's the crap trunk. Yeah, that's the crap trunk. So then, um, the ruler's <laughs> wife falls ill. Okay. And they hear about Werner's skills as a healer. Yeah. Right. And they seek him out, and he can't save her. So she dies. You can only do so much up with, with the chewed up leaves. Right? Oh, yeah, with and then, and then yeah. the ruler is like, you're to blame, you killed my wife. Uh, and he starts going after Werner and, and, Victor, and Victor. And like, really like, punishing their people. And it turns out real bad. Wait. They're people like the gypsies? Yeah, like the gypsies. Because yeah. he's like, oh, screw all you! But she made a deal with the thing! Yeah, but she, it doesn't matter. You gotta, there's steps. You can't just, you don't just get it. Like, you gotta go through a thing. Well, apparently it, with Mephisto, you never get it. It was a flawed yeah. deal anyway. So, um, then, like, they kill his dad. Yeah. yeah. And his dad's friend, Boris, takes him in. Right. 
And Boris has a daughter. And Doom kind of has a thing for her. And they have a relationship. They don't really go into it in here, but it's worth mm. noting because her name's Valeria. Yes! Valeria Richards the is one named love. after Doom because Doom delivered Valeria after a whole bunch of other really weird magic science yep. stuff that doesn't make any sense. And I'm sure Sal will talk about it sometime, but let's... I gotta tell you, when I looked that up... Oh, the, the birthing of Valeria? Yeah, and all the stuff that came before that. Yeah. Well, but Doom like, does deliver that baby, and because of that, he has the right to name her, and then he uses her as like a, as like a puppet, essentially, and yeah. it's whatever. But she's named so after his first love. Yes. Okay. Um, and he and Valeria discover the trunk. Uh huh. And he opens it up. Wait, he? Oh, not Doom the, and Valeria. Right. Like Doom the, and Valeria. Uh, the first Sorry. With Valeria. The actual Valeria. Actual, yeah. The first Valeria. Yeah. Valeria the first. And he gets really into magic, and he learns everything he can. He learns it all. But then from magic, he learned, he wants to know more about knowledge in general. And from that, he wants to learn more about science. science. And he becomes obsessed with everything. And he leaves that bitch because he doesn't have time. And it's very Scroogean. much like Scrooge, yes. Mm. He's, I don't get time for you! So yeah. he leaves and goes to America, to America where he is accepted into um, Empire, Empire State, State University. University. Who's telling the story? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and... There, he excels at everything he tries. But what he decides to do is he gets, like, this grant and he builds all these machines. And what he decides to do is use one of the machines to try to get to the netherworld to bring his mother back. Okay. And that's the machine that blows up because he had flawed calculations. Yeah. I gotta tell you, at no point in this book do they bring up Reed Reed Richards. Freaking Richards. They don't bring it up at all. This is Doom's story and that's it. Well, now, in they the should Richards bring up version, the part where he blames Richards for... Well, yeah, because Richards was the one that told him that it was flawed calculations, but he didn't believe him, and then whatever. Yeah. But anyway, um, Doom and his... But in Liberian history, it's just that the, the calculations were incorrect. Exactly. Who really remembers who was involved? Yes. Yeah, exactly. We um, don't speak that name here. <laughs> yeah, Richards is basically the F word. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Richards, you! Yeah. So Doom leaves, and that's when he goes to the mountain, and, and then he returns to um, Latveria and to Boris as a metal man, essentially. Yeah. And like at first, Boris is like, yeah. "Who are you?" And he's like, "You do not recognize me." Yeah. <laughs> it, it is me, all my splendor. <laughs> and then, like, essentially, Boris is the rest of the story is, and it was very short after that he took over. Yeah. So then he took over the whole damn place. And like, like Strange was like, "Oh," and then Boris is like, "Maybe I've said too much." You mean? The whole backstory yeah. of Doctor Doom? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he didn't want you to know all that. Oh, well. Boris is sick of it anyway. I, so. I'd, I'd be done with it. Oh, was I not supposed to say it? I'm just a sickly old man. And then he turns hey, into Mephisto. <laughs> so, so Strange, you know, trains him for weeks and weeks and weeks because they have a date they have to get there by. They ha- he has to be uh, like, trained by a certain date and it's um, Midsummer Night's, or Midsummer's Eve. Okay. Because on Midsummer's, on a Midsummer's Eve, that's when the barrier between our world and the nether world is its weakest. Right. So we discover that every year, on that day, Doom attempts to battle Mephisto oh, to get his mother's soul. That's and cool. And every time, it's been a stalemate. Oh, that's nice. And he wow. couldn't win. Every time. But now I got strange. But stalemate. But now like, I not got Not defeated. Strange. Yeah, no. Now, well, who knows? It's in Doom. Doom yeah, according to Latverian <laughs> history, it's a stalemate. However. I don't think Latverian knows that Doom is battling the, the devil, devil every summer. Every summer. <laughs> well, they have an idea, actually. Because that's one of the really? backups. Is that, yeah. They they kind of know. Oh, that's awesome. They're like, oh, it's it's Midsummer's Day. It's Doom's no, they, Day. They... Hide in your houses. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can see the lights. You're and like there's all this crap happening. Yeah. Doom has taken what knowledge Stephen gave him and he has combined it with his own science. Whoa, 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 Stephen. <laughs> First Steven. name basis here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and he is like he's like, alright, I'm not as strong as strangers yeah. in magic, so I'm gonna have to use science to make up the gap because That's I, I have to be as good. He's like, no better yeah. than Doctor Strange. Yeah. And Strange is like, are you sure you wanna go? You sure you wanna Strange's do like, this? Sure. Do you wanna do you, do you, are you sure you wanna go? Yeah. And Doom's like, you're wasting time. Let's well, go. Let's go. not only that, but like, hey, this is your boon you have to fill. Yeah, yeah, man. Are you sure? Are you sure? So they arrive in hell, and immediately there's demons. Nice. Because well, yeah. the fact is, hell is ever changing, and like, like Doom's like, couldn't you have picked a less populated area? He's like, I can't tell. Like, it's always changing. It's not exact science it's like, going to hell. I did the best I could. Yeah. So they fight these demons, and then immediately Mephisto shows up, and He's I like, can tell you, this book 
It's just filled with Doctor Strange who's over the top when he speaks, Doctor Doom who's over the top when he speaks, and then Mephisto shows up and he just shames them all. I will say <laughs> that is that is within their characters, especially during this I point. Know. They all are like, oh, hoo, hoo. they're and very Shakespearean. That I is love the it. pose that he has yeah. when he shows up. He <laughs> says, "Nothing in Hades that long escapes the notice of Mephisto." I like long escapes. Like he's like, "Oh wait, what?" They all talk in the third person. I know, it's spectacular. Yeah. And, like, immediately, Mephisto's like, Mephisto's like, oh, you're back. Oh, is it Midsummer's Day already? And he's like, and you, Doctor Strange, we've met before. Yeah. And he's like, mm. Do you? you you're not getting out this time. Yeah. And immediately, Mephisto just kind of makes the floor crumble beneath him and they fall. Oh. And, like, it's like, mm, and then they have to fight some more. Yeah, but you're in hell and you have a cloak. Just levitate. Yeah. Yeah, but what of Doom, then? Oh, yeah, screw he, Doom. He's got. He's got. Uh, Look, I said he'd. I'd save his mother's soul. I said nothing about saving yeah. Doom. Well, they, he has. He has boots that shoot rockets. He can fly. They're fine. Um, and then like these crows showed up and they fight these crows, <laughs> and like then Mephisto conjures a sandstorm and he separates the two of them oh. because that's what he has to do. And then they rave out. Of... <laughs> that's how Doctor Doom got out. He, you know, he yeah. ran, you know, he used the science. <laughs> Doom takes his coat off or his cloak. I was like. <laughs> and he just fucking just rocks it. Mephisto's yeah. like, oh! And Strange is like, he creates like a light show. <laughs> Strobes. Well, yeah, like he can do like a little hand glowy thing. Yeah. And Doom's just fl- like blasting lasers everywhere. Yeah. Doom basically just cre- conjures light out of his hands and he creates like glow sticks. Yeah. So Doom gets out, but like in the sense that Mephisto wanted him to get out of the sandstorm uh-huh. and like Strange is stuck in it. Yeah. And he's like, and, and Mephisto's talking to Doom and like, it's really funny because Doom gives him a nice compliment. Because, like, Mephisto's like, you see him down there struggling? He's like, that man will never give up. Mm. Mephisto's like, hmm. Oh, that's cool. All right. So. By the way, before this, was there, like, when Strange was teaching Doom, is there, like, a fun montage where they start to gain each other's respect a little bit? No, it's like one page of them training. Oh. They just train for three panels. Again, if we had Doom in the MCU, this would be an awesome movie for Doctor Strange. I know, Strange. right? This would be awesome. This is the movie right here. So... So Mephisto's like, hmm, maybe you're right. So then what he does is he creates a cliff where Strange falls off of and then takes away his cloak of levitation and the eye of Agamotto. And you can just take that shit? He just takes that shit. Oh, it's hell! I and then, what I want! And then he mm, tumbles fair. into his past. Oh. Where he is forced to relive him being an asshole doctor, being a dick to people, the car accident. That shatters his hands. Yeah, he's, refor- he's forced to relive it all. And then in this version of it, he goes to the Ancient One and there's another person there and he's like, I'm here to see the Ancient One. And they're like, he's already dead. Ah, you missed it. And Strange is like, no, that's not, that's not how this goes. Yeah. And that's what makes him realize that he's in hell. And he like uses the light and he breaks that. Oh, that's cool. Meanwhile, Mephisto's doing his Mephisto thing with Doom and he's just like, he shows him the earth. And Doom's like, I don't need you to give me the earth. I, Doom could have it whenever he pleases. <laughs> if it's just like, okay. All right. And then he shows him something else that he wants. And it's his mother's soul. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, and Doom's like, what do you want for it? He's like, oh, you know what I want. And oh, you're like, strange. yes. Oh. Come on. <laughs> well, I thought it was like a kiss or something. <laughs> Come on. Take that mask it's off. Lonely. Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand. It's so lonely down here. here. I mean, there are demons and things, but like, no one one gets me. Like, you're hideous. I'm kind of hideous. Strange is kicking ass and taking names, and he sees down below Doom's body being carried away by demons, and he's just like, oh, Doom! He's like, but this could be a trick. I can't risk it. He goes down there, and it's a trick. It's a trick. It's demons. And then, like, Mephisto has him in, like, what I thought was ice, and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. It's crystal. Oh. Um, and, like, so Strange wakes up, and it's, like, crystal from here down. Like, so there's nothing he can do. Yeah, he can't conjure spells. And, like, he's like, Doom, I can't believe you betrayed me. But, of course I can. <laughs> but, yeah. But, like, duh! So, Mephisto's like, oh, right, your mom's soul. So he's like, and I'll even give you a body. So he, like, makes a body out of, like, stone for her, and, like, then he puts the soul into it, and, like, there she is. And oh. Doom's like, Mom. Yeah, he's like, come on, we, have, we gotta go. And um, Mephisto's like still chattering at him and like she's hearing things and like he's like, and she's like, wait, you gave up that man? She, he's like, it's all part of the bargain. Aww. He's like, we gotta go. And, and she's, she's like, like no, 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 no. She is. She's like, a bargain with him? And she's like, I will have no part of that. That's what got us here in the first place. Uh-huh. No, not my son. Oh, and she, she, I figured she'd just be like, no, I'm just gonna guilt you into saying no. No, yeah. she goes back. Aww. and she lets herself be turned back into stone 
And he's like, no! He's on his knees. It's an, Actually, and it's an amazing. You just gotta see it. It's an amazing image of him on his knees in front of the statue of his mother. Yeah. And, like, Mephisto's like, look at it, Strange! Look at it! It's so delicious! Like, he wants to, like, lick Doom's tears. Yeah. Look at his anguish! <laughs> then Strange feels something in his hands. Because he's trying everything. And he feels there's something in his hands, and it's a device. Doom gave him an explosive, and it <laughs> detonates. Because he didn't betray him at all. It was all part of Doom's Oh. That's awesome. And then he breaks out and he starts doing magic. Yeah. And like Mephisto's like, ah, you betrayed me. <laughs> you betrayed me? Who saw this coming? <laughs> so then he, like, Strange and Doom were just going at it and they're just attacking the hell out of this guy. Or not this guy, but they're attacking the hell out of Mephisto. And like it's this epic, awesome battle that would be awesome in a movie. Hint, hint, no genetic make it happen. Um and Everyone's really, going like this and that. There's and a magic. lot of there's a lot of lights and there's a lot of shadow and there's all this awesome stuff and it's like kind of Kirby esque in the crackle. Yeah. And Strange ends up putting them all in a bubble, including his mother's statue. Okay. And like Doom's like, thank you so much for helping, like keeping her safe as well. And he's like, but I need you to open the shield. Mm. And like Strange is like, why? Why would we do that? We're gonna die. He's like, he's all Just powerful. Trust me. I'm... And like Doom sends out like this crazy like missile. Like it's not a magic missile, but it is certainly a missile of sorts. <laughs> um, it's a magic missile. It's a... And he like, attacks the darkness. And by the way, if this were the devil, I like what the like that's that's messed up. Yeah. What is that even? Yeah, um. What am I even looking? And at? it reduces Mephisto to this like rock. And like they're like yay, <laughs> yay, we turn Mephisto into rock. Except no, because then he explodes back into Mephisto, and he's like all powerful. He's like, Grr! oh okay. And they're stuck in the shield, and strange realizes something because he's dr strange and he's like we're gonna die in this bubble i'm gonna <laughs> i don't have an affair i'm gonna open it and doom's like why he's like trust me yeah and he opens it and like he starts doing a spell mm -hmm. and the like his mother's statue like energy starts pouring out of it and the statue is obliterated mm -hmm. and when it is though this pure light is everywhere and it reduces Aww. Mephisto to nothing. Like he's just like this quivering little man. He's like, oh, like yeah. you know, like it, it, he calls it like like not blasted light, but um, damnable light. And like Strange is like, actually, it's sanctified light. <laughs> um, and what it is was Strange realized that the statue that Doom or that Mephisto created, he created because he knew that what would happen. He knew that his mother would not go. Yeah, right. But he knew that she would be redeemed in that moment and her soul could leave. So he created nice. a prison for her so she couldn't leave. So when Strange opened the bubble, the only person who could destroy it was Mephisto. So, so Mephisto destroyed the statue, the statue and freed, and the freed soul. her and thus defeated him. Yes. Thus also accomplishing their goal right. in a sense. Yeah. Because it frees her Because the soul goes to heaven now. Right. Exactly. Because it's like, just get the hell out of here. <laughs> like, he's so annoyed. He's like, I, was, I had all of you. Yep. I hit all of you. Like three pages ago, I was on top. And I lost it. So he just kicks him out. You know what? I'm going to steal Spider-Man's marriage. Ugh. Yeah. Get out of it. <laughs> Literally, that's it. He's like, be gone. And he just shoots them away. Meh. Backhands them away. usually how Mephisto loses. He's like, <laughs> meh. So they I am a bitch. <laughs> I'll see you in Infinity Gone. So they, they, they go back to Doomstop. And um, Boris is there. And like, Doom's like, see the strangers, like, departure. Yeah. And he's oh. like, but you need help. Like, you need me to, like, and he's like, I don't need anything. Yeah. I'm Doom good. needs nothing. And no Aside one. from maybe a little cry right now. And then he just goes and he's just looking out into Latveria, and Boris and Strange are just standing there looking at him. And they're, and Strange is like, you know what? I think this was his plan the whole time <laughs> was to free his mother this way because then he didn't have to thank anybody because he did. Right. And that is his triumph and torment. Is that he won, but he's alone. Huh. Right. And I was like, oh. and then the book ends back in the cave with Genghis. Oh God, Genghis! <laughs> because he's like, it. It all came full circle for him. Yeah. And that's it. And that's, I was like, that's wonderful. Will you please eat this rice? Yeah, but eat the rice. Come yes. On. He still has it. He still has the rice. And it's still steaming. Yeah. Well, it's a new bowl of rice, yeah. I assume. Yeah. Well, now, no. He at the end, he's like, acolyte, I would be fed. I hunger. Oh, so he eats the rice. All right. <laughs> it's about freaking time. So I was waiting the whole book yeah. to find that out. There you go. Triumph of Torment. No, right? I, 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 
What were we the backups? Supplements. Yeah, what, all right, what, all right, so, so what the are backup and, and the Tell one, me about Namor! All right, well, the Doom <laughs> one is Master of Venice, uh, though some call it magic, and it's literally one of the times that he battles Mephisto. Okay. Army, um, and it's funny because Boris is in this, yeah. and you see the people of, of um, Laveria. Laveria talking about it, how like they're like, oh, it's happening, yeah. and like we've heard rumors that this is what he, like our master does. Yeah, and they look hilarious. Like Frankenstein esque peasants. Yeah, and like he... it's great. Although, like, they look like they're in the 1930s, maybe the 1940s. Well, yeah. all right. Technically, like all like Doom, Mephisto, um, and Doctor Strange were created in the late 60s, I yep. believe. Oh, yeah. No, I just mean like what lot various economic right. status. Oh no, is. absolutely. But like for that time period, that was only that was only years a little while ago. ago. You yeah. know what I mean? So sense. like it's a little different. Um, so he fights Kagrok the Killer, he loses to him, yeah. and when he comes back, he has this moment where, like, he's resting on Boris, and then, like, he's just, like, Boris is like, it's okay, you can rest on my shoulders, and Doom's like, no! I need no shoulders! Yeah. yeah. And he pushes Boris down the stairs. Right, and then another backup <laughs> is, is Strange, um, and the only reason I swear this is in here is because Strange's, um, apprentice Clea has left. Yes. And a whole bunch of people want to be his apprentice. And they all show up outside of his door, and he sends them all away. And people around the world are starting to hear about it, one and, of which is Doom. Ah! But Doom can't go because Ladbury is, like, in unrest. Like, there was just a recent issue, so he has to stay and do that. But he's like, Doom calls no one master, and yet, he's like, no, we'll meet again another time. And I think that's the only reason that's in here. Fair enough. Um, And then um, Namor um, sees a ship, and the ship is, like, it, it's in this, like, stormy sea, yeah, and it's going down, and it was, like, horse thieves, and there was a horse on board, and, like, the horse thieves and the horse are gonna die, and he's just like, I don't know why the horse should have to die, that's not fair, so he fights the horse thief guys, and saves the horse, but it's a horse, and it's the ocean, so then Neptune shows up and turns it into a seahorse. And um, that's where we get seahorses. So, then the other one is... Wait, that's it? You'll know that, by the way, at the beginning he was wearing Doctor Strange's cloak. Yeah. Um, why? Also, it was drawn by Mike Mignola. Yeah, I think that's why these are. That's here. why it's there. Um, and then oh, next... but check out this fun story. But, yeah. And then Mike Mignola drew this one time after time, where the Submariner runs into a pirate Shit. battle and meets. Oh, this, but it's in the past. Meets this pirate chick, and he like falls in love with her, and then they have a high seas romance, and he he wears like a coat but no pants still. Um, but then they get lost in this fog, but, uh, like, he dives into the water to try to get them out of it, and when and he, he gets back, her. he can't find her, and then he sees at the bottom of the ocean is her skeleton. Yeah. And this has what to do with Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange? Well, Mike Mignola drew them, and they're magic. No! It's not supplemental no, it's at all! Magic. Well, there was, there was ghosts. Oh, there were ghosts. And, this is and, this is days of uh, future future past crap. all over again. Yeah, is that, is like two hey, of them. it's like two. Hey, that's a cool idea. I like that Namor story. Of yeah, Namor it's just don't like belong in here. But just what the hell? Well, oh. Otherwise, where would you see it? Right. I but don't... but I made these. Yeah. Put them in the book. I love please. the backups because they are they're travel ads. That for Latveria. is amazing. The Latverian Express. Yeah. And come to Latveria, place of beauty and order. Yeah. <laughs> Doom never leaves home without his and car. Then, and then there's just some really cool random art in the back yeah. of Wong, who's really not featured in this. And no. The, the cool image of the Vashanti. So, I mean, honestly, like, I had high hopes for this book, but, like, when I think about this and then I think about Secret Wars, yeah. I love it. Because, like, it just takes this relationship and then, like, progresses it even further. Yeah. And if you think about Strange... In the mindset of this, where he knows Doctor Doom a little bit more intimately than maybe the rest of the Marvel Universe does. It, I don't know. Like, yeah. It kind of puts it into a new perspective. Yeah. So, I gotta tell you, Doctor Strange, Doctor Doom was awesome. And I really appreciate you guys and me Thank you for hosting. This, this was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's, oh, let's not forget to, this was actually sent to us by a fan. That's right. So, thank you. You know who you are. Because I don't. And this is how you get books read on back issues. That's right. Uh, and, and put like a million flags in Tiffany. <laughs> this was actually recommended specifically for Tiffany, which is why Tiffany's hosting this episode. Also, Tiffany's a huge Doctor Strange fan. I am! Uh, we had this Doctor, this Doctor Doom cloak, uh, so we might as well use it. And now, yeah. since you're uh, the one hosting the show, you get to sing the goodbye song to our fans. That's right. The traditional ceremonial goodbye back issue song. That's right. Goodbye from us. We're not going to be... On the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than I expected. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below this video to get a copy of this book. 
We'll see you guys next time. Thank you, Tiffany, for hosting the show. Of course. Thanks for thanks for being here. We'll Absolutely. see you guys next time. Bye. It's not the Order of the Black Lotus, right? No. <laughs> you mean the White Lotus? Is that it? <laughs> That's for Avatar. Avatar? Avatar. Oh, Avatar? Damn. I would, no, I was thinking the, uh, the, gang, the gang up with Ra's al Ghul. In, That's in DC. It's another I universe. always fucking do that shit. <laughs> and it's League of Shadows. <laughs> so Damn it. 103 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs>